Hey everybody, so we are gonna make this really, really quick and I'm gonna make this really simple for you. Uh, obviously in these unprecedented times, we've had to come up with a few things to hopefully just get you by. So I think pretty much all you should need from home is maybe an old t-shirt um, or a dish towel or a rag that you don't mind getting a little color on. That would be my recommendation to you. Um, again, just give that a little twist around your neck that way, if you spill or drop a few things, it won't be a big deal. Okay, so most of you in your kit, you're going to be getting a bowl, a brush, a hair clip, your product, and gloves. So you can mix the product first, then we're gonna put our gloves on. So pretty much all of you are gonna end up getting something that looks like this, which is your color. So you're gonna open that up first, and that's a color tube, just looks like that. So again, just like a toothpaste tube, go ahead and puncture that. Um, basically, this is one application. So for most of you that I'm dropping this off, you are gonna end up using this whole tube of color for this particular application. So go ahead and open up that tube that's gonna go right into your color bowl. So get that right into the bowl. And then next up, I have pre-weighed out and measured your activator or developer and that goes right into the bowl with it. And then from there, um, you're gonna get your gloves on and make sure you're ready to go, okay? This color can't be sitting in the bowl for much longer than a couple of minutes before you start applying it. So it's really important that you have everything ready to go before you start putting uh, that color together. Okay, uh, dirty hair is okay, by the way. So it does not matter, your hair should be dry um, and it can be dirty from however long, it doesn't matter. Most of you already know this from coming into the salon anyways. So first thing I like to do is part my hair down the middle and I go right down the back and I part that right down the middle there as well, okay? So basically just go right down the middle all the way to the back, just split that right in half and there you go, okay? Easiest thing for you to do is probably doing this in the bathroom in front of a mirror so that way you can watch what you're doing. So I've got my color all ready to go and mixed up. So I'm gonna go ahead and start applying that color right onto that part line. Okay, and then use the end of that comb, that brush, sorry, to section that out. So just go ahead and take a slice pick up that section of hair and go ahead and put a little bit more product right in underneath, okay? Don't overlap too, too much onto that um, onto the hair that's already colored because you don't really want to waste that color, okay? So you really just want to be applying it to your roots, just where it needs to be colored. So always remember you paint on top of the section and you lift it up and you paint underneath that section, okay? So all the way down, gonna follow that line all the way down to the ear, okay? And once you've reached the ear, just gonna make sure that you've really, really saturated. And then what I like to do is I pull those sections back and I make sure that I've painted your hairline really well. So some of us have like those fine baby hairs. So just take that right down around that hairline, paint all those fine, fine, fine little babies. And then if you have to, you can take your towel and go ahead and just clean up any spots that are on your skin. Better to get that now than later, okay? So once that section is done, go ahead and repeat that process all the way down this next side. Remember, paint on top of that section and then lift it up, pull it over, and go ahead and paint on the underneath, okay? And again, do that all the way down to this side. Now, the back is definitely a little bit trickier when you're doing it at home. Um, you may need to ask somebody to just help you, but if you have a two-way mirror, meaning you have a mirror in front of you and a mirror behind you, it might actually be the easiest way for you. So again, split that hair down the middle and part it. This is where I have the clip handy for you because if your hair is shorter or in your way, you may need to just like clip that up and out of the way so it can split. Once you have that product 
on to that center part line, it will help to actually hold that in place, okay? So I paint all the way down that middle, and then what I can do is from the crown, from the top of your head, do that exact same thing. Don't try to work all the way down the whole width of the head. Just work down that one back half at a time. Lift it up, paint underneath, and then pull it over out of your way. So paint, lift up, paint underneath, and then keep that out of your way and keep moving till you get all the way down to the nape. Once you've done that, like again, you did around the front hairline, make sure that you're going in and painting all around that hairline. This is where it gets definitely a little bit tricky and you may need to ask someone for help or use that two-way mirror or what I tend to do, I have a really low hairline, so I literally paint my neck. I know this sounds totally crazy, but if you've got all those little baby hairs, just paint that whole hairline and then you can wash it off later or just go ahead with that towel and just clean up along the skin where you need to. All right, go ahead and finish that other back quadrant and you should have your whole head done. What I do to miss, uh, sorry, to check for missing spots is where I open it up with that mirror behind me and I just take a look and I make sure that I don't have any missing spots. If you're really worried about it, you should still have your gloves on and you can just kind of like smush that color in. Don't emulsify it, but if you need to, you can just press it in to make sure that it's saturated. There is no need to be combing this. You're not gonna comb it through. You don't have to play with this color. Right now, once you have all of your sections done, you start your timer for 45 minutes. After 45 minutes, you're gonna go ahead and hop in the shower or underneath the tap, whatever you're doing, and you need to shampoo. Again, don't pull that color through, okay? You just rinse it really well, okay, in warmer water. Then you're gonna shampoo, again, really gently, just to kind of remove staining around the hairline, etc. If you have blonde ends or highlights, I really don't want you to mess it up too, too much, okay? So you're not about smudging it all over, but gently shampoo your scalp. That's why in the shower it's easier. Rinse that out, and then go ahead and condition or do your hair mask. Sounds good? I hope so. So, Again, I, <laughs> any questions, Adam? Yeah, what's for dinner? What's for dinner? <laughs> Anyways, I hope everyone is staying safe and happy and healthy. Um, and your hair is going to look great because of this. And I can't wait to see you back in the salon. I'm just getting the itchy fingers already. So, mwah, thank you.